His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Yeah, he's kind of a dick, isn't he? Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. Chion is on to him. So he was involved with Utik. Yes, he was. Probably Ms. Rahi is the, the bigger issue right now, but yes, Utik as well. Chief! Chief! What? Look at this! Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. You didn't think that he was working on that here? The effectiveness of a human-modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? You should start downloading now. Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? Come on, I can, I can make out the picture from here, Xion. Put the pieces together. Hey, this is Cosmos' basic theory. There we go. It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. Hey, what do you know? She is downloading. Xion's making a smart decision. It really is, Kevin. You didn't believe that from before, Alan? Seriously? It took you that long? Chief, what are you doing? What do you think she's doing? She's figuring out Cosmos's black box as best as she can from Kevin's old information. What else? Taking a backup. Xion doesn't even think twice about it. Nicely done, Xion. What? Here? That's crazy! That's, th that's the smartest thing that Xion has possibly done this entire series. I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. And damn it, we're rebooting Cosmos, whatever it freaking takes. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please? Like, show him a picture of young me. Apparently he's attracted to him. To me. Distract him? <laughs> so... How about them baseballs? You're still here? Oh, um, actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realities. Wait, Alan's coping. Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep him much longer. Please tell me you didn't say that out loud like Xion did before. Would you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. I was about to say, how long does it take to make a backup of that kind of information? It can't be that long. Most of it seems text-based. Oh, um, we're sorry for disturbing you. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. And Kevin never goes, didn't I see you two days ago? When the person that I was in charge of monitoring lost some of her organs. Well, seems like we fooled them. I don't think Dad's on this floor. Let's return to Professor Mizrahi for now. And we get a database update. Uh, but I do believe we will be getting an update file in a bit, so I'll hold off on that for now. All right, back to Professor Mizrahi. It's, it feels weird to say that. I'm so used to doctor. How you doing, buddy? Looks like everything is in order. I hope today's experiment goes well. Oh, it's you. Where's Winnicott? He said he'll be see here soon. I see. Thanks. If you would, please deliver that data to the test subject management wing on the fifth floor. Oh, you have more to say about it? Test subject management wing is on the fifth floor. Don't make a mistake. I think I can figure out floor number five. You haven't given me any more information than that, though. So I think I'll be fine. We will see, though. I have a habit of screwing things up. Why is... The, where'd the guy go? He's not there anymore? Just a... Oh. Hey, look. There is a chest in there. Fortunately. Fire exits are sealed off. Only use in case of fire. Otherwise, 
Nobody's allowed inside. Preparations are currently underway for the connection experiment. Permission from management is required to enter. And, and steal from us. Damn it, there's a treasure chest and I want it. I know that I want it. They're not gonna let me have it at all though. All right. Time to get out of here. Everybody's gone, that's kind of weird. Fifth floor, please. Fifth floor, acute neurosis special treatment area. The hospital portion, I guess. Because after we said it's not a hospital, she and then said it was. Hey, why don't we need to be recalibrated on board Proto Merkaba? Seems like the seems like only special realities get recalibrations there. DZ series units like us don't seem to need any recalibration. You guys are realians? That reminds me, I heard that some DZ series units have issues with their control codes. I've heard that too. Can't help wondering if there's some connection between that and the recalibration on Proto Merkaba. And we can destroy things up here. In ether pack. That is good. I don't think yeah. Currently sealed. That means there's good stuff in there, you know it, right? You need special permission to open that door. Thank you, Light On. The area past there is under special restriction. Even the staff here can't easily get permission to go through there. What do you have to say about it? The test subject management wing lies ahead. Special human beings have been gathered from ver various locations. To be honest, they haven't told us the details of the experiments. They're linking to the vessels of anima. I have no problem telling you. Why do I have to keep it secret from you guys as well? Uh, so, nowhere for us to go except to the right. What is it? I was told to go through by Professor Mizrahi. He does not tolerate tardiness. Um, the door won't open. Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. ID, please. Here. Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. What is it now? I saw something on the screen. And therefore, I want to download the data off of it. What's that image? I can't say I recognize it. No, it's a, it's a vessel of anima, isn't it? Hmm? Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. Yeah, I didn't recognize it enough, I'm I guess. I'm sorry. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. I thought so. Yes, there's no mistaking it. Although it looked pretty flat there. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of anima and the Zohar. We already knew that, though. I feel like I did things out of order, but we wouldn't be able to open the door unless... Man, this game's starting to give me a headache. How you doing? The elevator that leads to area 13 is beyond this door. For the time being, though, I want to head through here. Damn. Head through here. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, I think that... I, I can really head into door number one. There's definitely things I, I want to do kind of in a certain order here. I don't think this is going to do anything. Coolidge! As long as I'm here, I won't let you destroy the things in this room. Why? Because I'm this room's guardian spirit. <laughs> is, is that seriously the explanation that we're going to get for that? Coolidge is like that now, but he's really a skilled researcher. Just the other day, a minor discovery led him to develop a new drug that can paralyze the Reallian nervous system. I think the new drug is being held on the second floor. 
That does not sound good at all. There's a treasure chest up there. But in order to get to it, I need to destroy it. But there's a guardian spirit here. Do you know what a federal report is? No, actually. Can you tell me? Apparently, it's a report used by Federation soldiers. When they're in danger, they hide the report somewhere and come back later to retrieve it. Apparently, there are eight reports that are around the city. If you happen to find one somewhere, please let me copy it. I simply must know the truth about the descent operation. Well, I got some of them, but I was unable to get all of them so far. For the time being, we will just head over to the right after destroying the plant. I think again into the second door here, where we can find this. Update file 09, just like I said. I wonder if something's wrong for Brony. It doesn't seem well today. She's the key to this connection experiment. What happened to upset her mental state? Test subject, Tesla Magus. Magus, sorry, in this game. TC4749, detect a possible test subject quality for connection experiment during the disturbance at Dabrai Mine. Immediately sent to this facility. Public records state that he had been killed in an accident during the disturbance. Performed drug experimentation for six months, but although his link affi affinity to realians were high compared to other test subjects, Abnormalities in the pulses of the frontal lobe and the tectum appeared during a connection experiment, which resulted in his death six minutes later. It is believed he was unable to resist the fear against Udu. I can't believe this. What should I tell Mai? Um, uh, he died honorably. That's, that's what I'm gonna go with. Hmm. Hold on. All right, let's go into the database. Shouldn't take too long once again, but we do have a little bit of new information here, and we'll go through that before we get to uh, the rest of this. All right, we got Aoi Uzuki, Shion's mother. Originally from the Vasilios system, which despite its proximity to the Federation capital, is largely populated by people from the immigrant fleet. Aoi is thought to possess a certain trait latently within her. As a result of this latent characteristic, Aoi ultimately slipped into a coma due to the resulting stress. So she was sick. And apparently, Suo must be one of the head researchers then. All right, cultural is up next. We do have Ethel. Ethel is a term used for the general public who do not work in any fields that are related to the government, army, or corporations. They are unable to receive incentives and qualifications like Kamel's with their employment. Most citizens of the Galaxy Federation are Ethel's. Kamel's. Kamel is a term used for those who work for Galaxy Federation government, the military, and corporations such as Vector Industries and the Kukai Foundation. Kamel's work various jobs, and many of the main players in the story, including Xion, are Kamel's. They are able to receive incentives and qualifications based on the number of years that they have contributed to society. These incentives vary from retirement packages, pensions, and rights to genetic transformations. Genetic transformations, you say? Alan's plan was to retire after working 11 years as a Kamel and buy a lodge in some isolated area and fish every day for the rest of his life. That's not a bad plan, work for 11 years and retire. That sounds good. Connection gear. Thought we already knew about that. A PDA. Apparently they're just going to go off of the terminology that was used at the time that the game came out. A PDA that is also used for communications. It is a mobile unit regularly used by Xion. When activated, a holographic monitor and keyboard appear. Its capabilities can be further expanded via downloads of various plugins or apps. Though it is an excellent machine, it is not widespread among the public because of its cost. Usage of the military's dedicated line and the fact that its functions far surpass general needs. UNP is more commonly used. Commercial model. 
Firearms can be divided into three main categories, commercial models, law enforcement models, and those developed for the militaries. Although all three specs are relatively similar, the commercial model is targeted for general consumers and allows disabling of the full auto switch and has a limited number of rounds in the cartridge. Really allows disabling of the full auto switch, that's all it takes to give it to the public. One of the operators in the story suspected that Vector intended to create deployment experiments of the android Cosmos in the military and use them as advertising for a commercial model. Interesting. Uh, next up we have the Seraphim sister. Consisting of Julia and Chloe, both from Keltia, this vocal duo was all the rage after scoring a sensational galaxy-wide hit in TC4766 with their debut single, A Curse of Love. Didn't we get this update file from now and we're talking about things that happened in the future? Whatever. Their gratuitously high-tension vocals, voluptuous and energetic dancing, and extreme scandalous privacy lives have captivated men everywhere. Using an, a UMN channel to attend a Seraphim Sisters concert is a sacrilege amongst their most devoted fans. You need to see the boobies live. Captain Matthews, one of their zealous devotees, claims the experience has no meaning unless you step into the concert hall, burn the singing and dancing duo onto your retinas, and feel the concert's very presence with your own skin. Actually sounds a little bit creepier now that I basically know they're, uh, they're just kind of a novelty-ish act. University of Bormio, the only university. One of the top educational institutions in the Galaxy Federation, the University of Bormio has a long history, being as it is the first university constructed by humans in space. Despite this, its academic level and facilities are the most modern around. Many aspire to attend, but it is extremely difficult to make the roles. It has departments in both the humanities and the sciences, but about 70% of its curriculum lies in the departments of science and engineering, which are further divided into even more specialties. Chief disciplines include material applications engineering, planetary science, mechanical systems engineering, and so on. With its gothic architecture, one would never expect this university to be at the center of science and engineering. Many Vector employees are University of Bormio graduates, including Alan and Kevin, the professor at the helm of the Robot Academy on the Kukai Foundation, his friend the other professor, and the professor's rival, the Dark Professor, also graduated from this institution. Everybody. We have not heard another university ever brought up. UNP. UNP stands for Unis Mundus Network Phone. The, uh, a general personally used telephonic terminal. In other words, a mobile phone. It's a cell phone. Connection gears also sport high-level communication features, but since they are prohibitively expensive, the UNP is in much more widespread use. Several hundred companies manufacture UNPs, but the VE series from Vector Industries is the most popular. The latest VEU series features a motif starring the UMN mascot Bunny and is a favorite of Xion's. Because connection gears use special military channels, UMP channels are more likely to get through be during a military emergency. For this reason, most technicians with connection gears still tend to keep a UMP as a backup communication device for all the military emergencies that apparently happen. All right, next up we have locations, acute neurosis treatment facility, also called the Ant Facility. The medical facility where Aoi Uzuki, Shion's mother, was hospitalized in a vegetative state. Instead of performing normal medical treatments, it used cutting-edge technology to administer nanomedicine, experimental treatments, and so forth. That's apparently it. And finally, we have organizations. We got 2% done this time. The 34th Special Transport Troop. A special transport force affiliated with the UTIC organization. As it was transporting combat realians into Labyrinthos, it fell under attack by the Federation drop unit and was destroyed. The combat realians that this force had been transporting had been recalibrated on Proto Merkaba to go out of control. The UTIC organization used these realians to set off the Milshin conflict. That is news to us. At least it's news to me. They had 
been calibrated specifically by Utic to go out of control in order to set off the Milshin conflict? Somebody had to set it off, I guess. I, I didn't see why either side would have done that, though. But hey, we are done with the database for now. So now we can head over here. Ooh. Actually, I think that is the only place I can go. No, there's two areas. I do believe I want to go into this one first. Huh? What do I think about Utic's militarization? Apparently I asked him. If you ask me, I'm in favor of it. I think the Galaxy Federation is trying to destroy the future of Professor Mizrahi's research. So it says Mao. Seriously, they named the guy Mao. And Dickens! Like, what's with the names in this facility? The Galaxy Federation is trying to eradicate all the realians with its descent operation. That's not their goal at all. They seriously believe that every single realian is in danger of going out of control. They don't know that we've set them up. Can I go in here? Probably not. No, I can't. What can I do back here? Very little. I get caught on things really easily. Apparently there's nothing for me to do back there. Alright, we will move on then. And then we will head in the final door where we can probably find a cutscene. Just a guess. Hey, what do you know? Excuse us. We've brought the data. Look who I found here. Uh, set it down there. Oh. Looks like we're in for something here. D Dad? You shouldn't be saying these things out loud, Shion. We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. Mom! I don't know what you expected. You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. Yes, I will also be downloading things onto my connection gear. Don't worry about it. I know it looks fancy, but just don't think about it too hard. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? Seriously, Chion? What did I say about saying these things out loud? wrong hurry up and confirm the data luckily her dad did not hear that isn't she a member of your family how do you know this hmm what kind of experiment is this how can you use a member of your family as a test subject <laughs> seriously Shion, is, what is this gonna do she's cheap seriously alan can you like duct tape her mouth or something <laughs> 